Hi, my name is Paul and welcome to the Learning Net. In this video I'm going to show you how to recover a corrupt or lost iOS, I say lost, erased <laughs> iOS on a switch. This happens to be a 2950 series switch and as you can see on the screen in front of you at the moment we do seem to have some problem booting the switch up. It says here the system is unable to boot automatically. The boot environment variable needs to be set blah blah blah. Okay, so effectively we have some issues with the iOS. What I'm going to do, um, or what you should actually start off doing, um, is reload the switch uh, and hold in the mode button for 10 seconds while you reload it. So I'm quickly going to do that. Just pushing the button now while the power comes on. Um, hopefully you can see on the screen some activity. Um, there we go. Okay, that's the mode button. I can release that now. So what you can see, those are the three commands I need to um, complete in order to uh, reinstall the iOS. The first one is the flash init, and all that really means is I need to initialize the flash on this particular device. So I'm going to do that now, flash underscore init. There we go, we're initializing the flash. We can now add files to it, hopefully. There we go, boom, boom, boom. I'm now going to issue the load helper command, load underscore helper. And this will allow me to run some basic commands uh, on my switch. Load helper, enter. Okay, so now I have an option to copy the files that I need to copy onto Flash. And I'll copy that via Xmodem in Hyperterminal. But before I do that, bear in mind that my initial Hyperterminal session is run at 9600 board, which is quite slow. Um, I need to transfer a new iOS onto this device, which is roughly about 3.5 to 4 megs in size. And if I'm transferring at 9,600, it's going to take quite some time. It's going to take quite a lot of time anyway, um, but I can, we can certainly help it along by changing the board rate. So we go set BAUD, which is the board rate, 115,200. Now once I do that, it is going to change the speed at which I'm communicating with my console port. So I am going to have a problem as soon as I do this. I'm going to push enter. And now you can see my hyperterminal session has gone a bit all funny. Because my hyperterminal session is talking to the switch at 9600 board, but the switch is talking back to me at, uh, at 115,200. So we have an issue. Okay, so I need to shut down this hyperterminal session. Yes, I want to disconnect. Do I want to save it? No, I don't. Get rid of it. Um, and start up another hyperterminal session. Um, I should have put this on my desktop, shouldn't I? But not a problem. Hyperterminal, there we go. Anything will do. Uh, it's on my COM4. Click OK. Now I can reset the speed to 115.2. No flow control. Apply and go OK. Let's bring this back into the middle of the screen. Now if I push enter, hopefully we'll see the switch. There we go. So we're now communicating with the switch at 115,200 boards. Right, so now I can say I want you to copy this flash from X modem to flash. And the name of the file is a 2950.bin. As I say, I renamed that just to make this process a little bit easier. So I push enter now. And it says you can begin the X modem transfer now. So I just get the transfer button hyper terminal, send transfer, browse for my file. Um, it is on my desktop. I've got it in module two. There it is there. Um, and I can transfer it says there by X modem or X modem 1K. So I'm just going to choose X modem. Why not? Um, and then go send. Now we can see the file is starting to send. Um, it is going to take quite a lot of time because as you can see down here, it's 3635k and so far we've only done 70k. So I'm going to pause the video and we'll continue once this is finished. Back in a second. Okay, that transfer is uh, being successfully copied onto my flash. I just need to tell the uh, switch now to boot to that, to, to that image. And I simply just type in boot. Oh. Now if I selected it first, boot, flash, choose the image, C2950, dot bin. Here we go. And there we go. It's now loading the iOS. So that's going to take a couple of seconds and we should be back into the switch. I'm just going to pause the video while it does that and we can continue afterwards. Okay, there we go. Currently uh, loading the iOS um, and hopefully we'll have a proper functioning switch in a few seconds.
everything looks good and it's saying would I like to enter the initial uh, configuration dialog box hopefully by now you know what that means it means we don't have a startup file which is not a train smash because in this instance I didn't save the startup file before but had I had a startup file and um, if uh, the only issue of the switch was a corrupt IOS that startup file would still be present which is uh, a great a great thing as well one of the good features um, but obviously if I've erased the flash I would have erased that startup file as well um, this, this does happen quite a lot on my courses um, part of the learning process really is understanding how we move files about um, on our switches and our routers and some students do um, accidentally um, erase the flash instead of deleting the flash um, if you type erase flash it completely wipes out your flash and all the files that are on it if you say delete flash and choose a file that you want to delete then it will only delete that particular file a uh, common mistake um, and not a train smash if it does happen because as you can see we can clearly recover from that problem okay so I can now log into my switch in this instance I don't really have anything show a run if I had one and I'm back in excellent I can do a show version and you can see I'm actually running the 2950 Okay, there's all, everything about my flash. All right, my name is Paul. I'd like to thank you for your time. Sincerely hope you choose the LearningNet as your IT training center of choice. Thank you.